everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this super cute Tails Bow Down, looped Tails Bow Down bow. Uh, this is an inspired one, as you can see, but it's a very safe one that you can sell. This is inspired by the new film by Tim Burton, and I've got some other ones that are sort of a similar theme. And you can also do this in one ribbon, piece of ribbon, without the layers, and it's still just as cute as you can see from the one on my model. I'm just going to move this out of the way and move the angle of my camera so that you will be able to see what I am doing in a minute so as you can see done a white version with the stripes a purple version and lime green I think this is compared to like the slime green and then a black with the stripe and I actually got this it's 25 millimeter black and white stripe ribbon it was 50 I believe 50 meters for 10 pound but i will say this it's understandable because the first eight meters had like flaws on every part of the ribbon it looked like it had been stained so like i said it was good value for money for the 50 meters but like i said i lost almost 10 straight off with like I said the flaws in the fabric so like I said it's value for money but like I said it did have some issues so to make this kind of bow what you need is 36 inches of ribbon times two this is 1.5 inch wide ribbon there you go and this is one inch wide ribbon which is 25 and 38 i'll put all the details in the description and this is also 36 inches long now what i've done is i have this double-sided sticky tape and i will start the end i've already done one side just to make the film like the video a little bit shorter but basically all the way down because i do both sides to make sure it's held nice and steady is you go all the way along the ribbon as close to the edge as you can get without actually going over the edge and try and keep it as straight as you can and again i buy this from amazon you can get this is six millimeter wide and i get a pack of three rolls at a time normally which cost about you can get three or three or four rolls for about 10 pound and they last absolutely ages i've had this this one's only just starting to end now and i've had this about four months This is purely to hold the ribbon in place nicely though, so it doesn't move around and like fly out all over the place and sit at funny angles. But we do that all the way down and then fold that off. And then what you want to do, don't worry about heat sealing, you just need to take it in half like this and do a little pinch so you've got a start point. And you want to do the same with your ribbon here, a little pinch in the centre and then you can, you sort of need to get it to tack down onto your ribbon, there you go we'll get two start points but don't pull your ribbon all the way down because we're going to leave it attached to sort of help us with our guidance and so that we don't stick it non straight now lay your ribbon flat and with your double sided tape underneath put it between your fingers keep your ribbon flat and keep it centered by slowly peeling it down and letting it lie onto the ribbon slowly so that you don't have any like bumps or lifts or um, it stays fairly straight all the way down and just keep going and going and going Uh -huh. 
um, keep going until you reach the end. There we go. And then what we want to do is once we've got it to this point, the first thing we want to do is fold this in half, take our lighter, a little heat crease, a little pinch there. And then I have these pens, they're heat, heat reveal pens, basically the temporary pens. So I can draw on my ribbon like this and then with my lighter it goes. So this is what we're doing. In the centre here we want to mark a start point and it needs to be right in the centre of the ribbon. And then what we want to do is we want to stay centred. Please excuse my messy roller. Let's get my nice one for you so you can actually see. And what you want to do is stay centred so it's right on the centre of the ribbon. And we're going to do six inches dots so one here and one here and these dots are super important because it basically helps you build the whole bow and then we're going to move it to this side and we're going to do exactly the same thing we're going to lay this at 12 inches to start because we're going to do at six and at 12. And then I have a pre-threaded needle, needle. What we want to do is from underneath, so from this center point here, we want to go up with our needle right through that center point here. Then we want to take this point here. There we go. I want to make like a little loop this way. And then we want to take this one where we've done the dot there. And this is basically at the six inch points. Okay. And then you can turn it and get this look. Now the key point on this bit is take your needle, bring it back up the other way. And this is what the back will currently look like. Now to get this all facing as it should do and look right, we then take the next one. And I haven't got that like, quite centered, so I'm going to pinch this so I get the middle. Find the dot there. So that is my six inches. And we bring that over here. And then we're going to take this one and that one goes up through there. And this is a look that you currently have. And what you want to do is you make some adjustments so that your loops all sit nicely. And you can make this flatter like this or you can make it loopier by adjusting the loops like this I like mine quite loopy so once I've got it in place and it looks like this I can take my needle from out the back and bring that forward and where the point joins so the triangle here we start that together then up down down it will take a little bit of force to go through all those layers with the double sided tape on up i'll pull that through and i'll show you the stitches so in for one two three four five six and you'll get one two three stitches on the back and the more evenly you do this 
the nicer the bow will look because your creases will fall better. Please excuse the slight camera tilt there. Now we are going to pull this along like so until you are able to cinch this together by doing this. So three nice even creases. And then take your ribbon and wrap it round at least two to three times. One, two, three. And then stitch off in the back, however it makes sense to you. Okay, and this is what the bow will look like at the moment. And then what I do is, for some reason, no matter how hard I try, occasionally your tails will somehow shift. So if that ever happens, trim them down so much. And then you can curve your tails, spike your tails, do your like 45, 90 degree angle. I'm terrible at angles and maths. But do one that works for you. And then don't forget to take your lighter and in the blue clear bit of the flame, heat seal, seal so they don't fray. And as you can see, the, the ribbon's firmly down. Yes, it might only be double-sided tape, but unless your customer's going to sit there and start peeling it up, they're not going to know that you've got that for you. They know it's glue. And also it lies flatter than glue and it also doesn't stain because some glues that I've tried you get like glue tracks or lumps and like I said that's why the other reason why I use a double sided tape as well. So once we've got to this point we want an alligator clip. Turn it over, attach that on. And then I've got some black for the middle. Don't forget to heat seal. A little bit of glue on there. Open your clip. Make sure your tails are out of the way. And go round once. Open your clip round again twice make sure you write on the original ribbon cut any excess off heat seal in the clear bit of the fling little bit of glue wrap that round now if you want to do the scrunch middle like you can see on these ones then it is super simple. Same principle as we did earlier. You want about three and a half inches of your original colour. Some more of your striper ribbon or like corresponding ribbon, whatever you're using. Make sure you take both sides down again. And then give yourself a second to get your tape onto your ribbon. There we go. And center it. And cut down any extra. Like 
this and to make the scrunch you want to take your thumb here and you want to press this against the thumb until you get like an S Z shape like this and then take your lighter in the blue, blue clear blue bit of the flame pinch mind your fingers and then I tap it on the lighter bit as well and then on the opposite side I'm going to trim this down a little bit as well because it's not quite even it does help and then we're going to do the same this way nice like S V shape blue clear bit of the flame pinch pinchy mind fingers and then we have this scrunch look and what you do is get it centered round Bit of glue, open your clip, wrap that side round, bit more glue here, wrap that side round, and there we go. We've got our loopy tails down hair bow made freehand not on a template so cute like i said great for this time of year for insta buyer or halloween styles like i said we've got the second most famous tim burton film from the 80s with its sequel out now so like i said they're very very on trend and like i said you can play around and like I said, if you do buy the ribbon off amazon like i said it's great value for, for money but do be aware this is how much i lost and i'll show you there was multiple bits where i had like stains like that like somebody put a pen on it or something so like i said i did lose that whole eight meters to begin with so like i said do be cautious of that i will reuse it for other pro projects where things don't need to look as clean and as tidy as i like but it was frustrating at the time thanks for watching everyone bye